Okay, question 71, leak code, simplifying path. So given a string path, which is an absolute path, starting with a forward slash to a file or directory in a Unix style file system, convert it to the simplified canonical path. In a Unix style file system, period refers to the current directory, a double period refers to the directory upper level, and any multiple consecutive slashes are treated as a single slash. For this problem, any other format of periods, such as three periods, are treated as file directory names. So the canonical path should have the following format. The path starts with a single slash. Any two directories are separated by a single slash. The path does not end with a trailing slash. The path only contains the directories on the path from the root directory to the target file or directory. No period or double period. Return the simplified canonical path. So it's a pretty tricky question. There's a lot to take in from the initial question. And I believe Facebook has used this question a number of times. So the main thing with this question is that there are a number of different edge cases to take into consideration. So we have a period which we need to remove. We have two periods which signals the directory upper level. We have two forward slashes, which equates to one forward slash. So we need to remove that. And three periods equals a file directory name. So there's a lot that we need to add into this solution. So with example one, we have a forward slash home and a trailing forward slash. Now we need to remove that trailing forward slash and that gives us the output. The second example here, we have two forward slashes encapsulating two periods. And in the question, it said two periods equates to the directory up. But here, this is the root, so this is the highest level. So we can't go anywhere higher than that. So we need to return that. In the last example here, we have home, two forward slashes, foo, and a trailing forward slash. So we need to get rid of the trailing forward slash. And we also need to remove one of these forward slashes. So let's try and work out a solution to this. So we have three examples here and we're going to run through each one. So with a question like this, we're going to be using some kind of data structure which manipulates an array's processing order to last in first out. And that is the stack data structure, which is just an array, but we process it as last in first out. So what is common amongst all these three examples? So within a Unix file system, each directory is separated by a forward slash. So what we could do is we could split this string based on the forward slash. So we could split based on the forward slash. Now in this example here, this first example, if we split this, it's going to give us an empty string, which is the forward slash that we split on. It's going to give us the string of home. And it's also going to give us an empty string. If we split with this one, we are going to get an empty string. We're going to get home. We're going to get two empty strings, the two forward slashes. We're going to have foo and we're going to have the trailing empty string, which is the last forward slash in this example. Okay, great. So we've managed to split these out. Now, before we start pushing anything into the stack, we need to create some kind of if conditional logic. What we don't want to be pushing into the stack are empty strings, right? These empty strings provide us no value. So we can just remove that. So we don't have to add that into the stack. Also in the question, if we had a single period, we had to remove that from the stack. So say for example, we had a period at the end here. We aren't going to include this in the Unix style file system structure, right? Because periods are excluded from that. So we can remove that as well. So if we have an empty string or period continue. Now in this last example, we have two periods and that meant going to the directory one level above. So that meant going to this value. Now with the stack data structure, if we have these in order, all we need to do is pop off the stack to remove this value. And then we just have home. So if we reach a double period, we need to pop off a stack. So now with this example, what are we going to be pushing into the stack? So we're going to have the stack and we aren't including empty spaces. We are just including home with this example here. We aren't including empty spaces or periods. So we are just going to be including home and foo. And with this last example, we push in home, we push in foo, but then we come to the double period, in which case we pop off the stack, go back to home. And that is what we are going to have at the end of this example. Okay, so we're almost there. We have the stack. Now we need to convert this back into the Unix style file system. So it's a string. We need a forward slash at the start, and we need to separate these via forward slashes. So how could we do that? Well, we could just add a forward slash to the stack. And with this example, we could join it via a forward slash. So with the first example, we are going to get home. In the second example, we are going to have home foo. And with the last example, we are also going to have home. 
So what this question is really looking for is to see whether you can test a number of different edge cases. And the best way to do that is just to have a number of different examples to run through in the interview. So time complexity for this one is O of N because we're looping through the string once and space complexity is also O of N because we're using a stack data structure to store the strings. So there isn't really much to the solution to this question. We initialize the stack. We update the path by splitting it via the forward slash. Then we loop through the string. We check if path at i is equal to a period or is equal to an empty string. If that's the case, then we continue. Else if path that i is equal to a double period, we need to pop off the stack. Else we're just going to push the value onto the stack. And like we said in the question, we are going to add forward slash to the start of the string and we are going to join what's in the stack by a forward slash. And then we can return this value. Let's give this a go. Okay, it's been accepted. Let's submit it. And there you have it. 